Associated Press reported West Africa could face up to 10,000 new Ebola cases a week within two months, the World Health Organization warned on Tuesday the 14th, adding that the death rate in the current outbreak has risen to 70%. WHO Assistant Director General Bruce Alluad gave the grim figures during a news conference in Geneva. Previously, the agency had estimated the Ebola mortality rate around 50% overall. In contrast, in events such as flu pandemics, the death rate is typically under 2%. Acknowledging that the Ebola was a high mortality disease, Alwood said that the UN Health Agency was still focused on trying to get sick people isolated and provide treatment as early as possible. He told reporters if the world's response to the Ebola crisis isn't stepped up within 60 days, a lot more people will die. And health workers will be stressed even further. Experts say the epidemic is doubling in size about every three weeks. So how does this relate to the Bible? It is incredible that World War I, 17 million soldiers and civilians were killed in battle. What is even more incredible is that as World War I ended in 1918, a deadly illness took hold around the world which killed an estimated 50 million people. It was the Spanish influenza. It killed three times as many as, as the World War. It is still the largest and most destructive pandemic in recorded history. Average life expectancy dropped by 12 years in America. We know another world war is coming. In fact, a war to eclipse all wars. And in the making is another pandemic that could potentially be even more catastrophic than the flu pandemic. We read in Isaiah 24 that terrible judgment is coming on the world. It will affect all people, rich and poor, regardless of status. And when it is over, few men will be left. We surely need to be on God's side now, people. The earth suffers from the sins of its people, says the Bible, for they have twisted God's instructions, violated his laws and broken his everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must pay the price for their sin. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are scorched and parched, and only a few are left. The Lord of hosts will rule on Mount Zion. He will rule a great, in great glory in Jerusalem. That's taken from Isaiah chapter 24, verses 5 and 6. Repent, for the day and the hour is near.